So you're preparing to launch a crowdfunding campaign? Yes, in February, March, to um, to give us a nice little production budget for uh, season two yeah. of Labs. So what's some of your prep work that you're doing? Uh, it's going to be, well, the biggest thing is like trying to figure out what are these rewards. You know, mm -hmm. that's such a big thing because that's that's um, the thing that's enticing people to donate. You know, what, what are they getting out of it? And um, I'm actually... Uh, I'm, I'm gearing, I'm, I'm compiling a list, but I don't have like a set list yet of mm -hmm. things. Some of them are like, um, uh, we did a commentary for season one that I never released. So, and it's with, it's honestly so long ago that I don't remember doing this. Remember me, Art, or me, you, yes. me, and Art Hall, who is not here right now, sitting next to me. I am a manifestation of that. I'm actually Roche in a mask. Wow. Yeah. I would have gotten away with it too. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we all sat around. We, we all like... sat around. We uh, uh, Matt Lewis was there. Where where did we record this? At Roche's apartment. <gasps> You're right. We I all oh, yeah. Yeah. Was there some wine involved? Uh, what we, uh, probably. Uh, was, Chances, I guarantee. Actually, there were. Usually, whenever some pharmaceuticals I, also. Whenever I do commentary, that's usually how. It usually goes. wine. So you always hear a crack of a beer can or a, of a it's bottle. It's Miller time. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's Miller time. <laughs> She knows me. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, right, so that is we did that, yeah. and I'd like to put that out as like a, one of the rewards because it's really funny. <laughs> it's probably I'm gonna guess. Maybe it's just funny to us, but no, I'm just kidding. But no t-shirts. You're not doing t-shirts. I would like to. Do oh, you're just doing t-shirts. Okay. Yeah, because the yeah, show that's a good idea. the show is such a workout. You know, like right. going to the track kind of thing. It'd be cool to have like a tank top or something. You know. Not you know, fanny pack. Fanny pack. Right to keep the phone and the cigarettes. Yeah, and <laughs> exactly. All the things you need when you work out. You need the wide one for the cigars. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like a little hip humidor. Yeah. Um, that's a good idea, though. It's like a flask. A, yeah. Well, maybe a flask. Maybe we could have DVDs of the first season. Yeah. You know. Do. They've all the bonus feature. Yeah. You know? so. The audition tapes, I think, is. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. He doesn't like. No one likes audition tapes. Okay. All right. I don't. I mean, no actors like. Well, maybe some actors like their own audition tapes, and if they do, I'm a little leery about that. <laughs> <laughs> a little leery about that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm getting that stuff together, and then uh, in a couple weeks we're we're gonna shoot the like the the pitch video. Oh great. Yeah. Okay. And are you having everybody involved, and yeah, you'll narrate it, or uh, I'll probably. Sort of like the video journal, I'll intro it, yeah, but um, we'll shoot it back at the track, and I'd like to have all the roles cast by then, so that we can have the entire cast there and just be like, you know, this is what we're, this is our team of actors and talent that uh, are going to bring season two to life, kind of thing, and then uh, ask for money. <laughs> are you doing research on what campaign videos sort of yes. strike accord in you? Or yeah. Like, mm -hmm. did you have any examples of? I know I am I was a great campaign video. I am I. Jocelyn Town, yeah, she did a great. Yeah, and there was also. Um, well, I, I do like. Um, um, God, what's that guy that we were just talking about? The feature film that he's been working on for. Oh, years. oh, the guy from No No Film. Oh, Koo. Yeah, Koo mm -hmm. did such an amazing job with this video. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, the tricks that he used in that video was really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna pull off that, but okay. you know, yes. he had a really Man good child. pitch, mm -hmm. and that's what this is gonna come down to: is do you have a compelling pitch? Right. And uh, yeah, I'm looking at other campaigns, and it's not like I'm using just one for like an example. I'm looking at several and then like taking piece by piece mm -hmm. and making notes kind of thing. So I wish I had more examples, but it's more just as I go, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And I tuck it away. And then how have you determined how much you're going to ask for? One thing we've seen recently is that people are really going for these high amounts. Right. And it, it's, been, it's been harder these days to get them. I think people are, the honeymoon period's kind of over for crowdfunding. I think it's, it's a little tougher now. Right. And uh, there's also a huge debate between Indiegogo and Kickstarter, mm -hmm. which I'm still debating. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it low. You know, um, I know that I can fall back on some, you know, uh, of my own personal money, but also uh, some friends here in LA that have camera equipment that uh, I would like to, you know, 
they've already said, yeah, you can go ahead and use it. So I'm keeping the budget low. It's mostly for locations because it's such a bigger story, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The locations are, uh, that's going to be a big piece of it. And I want to be able to have the money for food and whatever. You know, lighting is a big thing too, so. Arts place. That's true. Uh, we can, well, if there's a way to fake it into a two-bedroom uh, apartment, absolutely. I'm, I'm open to it. I've, I have, I've, I've did various we'll cheat it. Sure. Various apartments I've lived in, I've always allowed people to film it, and like I, I'm like, oh sure, of course. Halfway through, I'm like, damn it, why did I say yes to this? Because it, you know, it's a little whirling dervish comes into your apartment, everything just gets all over. But of course, now we'll make it work, you know. But yeah, the world is much bigger, but I think it's going to strongly benefit us. So. Yeah. So I'm not going to shoot for the. I'm not going for a hundred thousand dollar budget. I'm going for like a thirty five hundred. And oh. give yeah, it like pretty modest. Wow, I mean, it's, it's really yeah. modest mm -hmm. for what. We, oh, I made season one on. Like twenty bucks, maybe plus or, craft services. Yeah, yeah, like however much bottles no, of water and services. donuts. <laughs> yeah, you Just didn't talk about tacos for everybody. Talk right? about tacos and lots of starches and carbs, <laughs> which is perfect for somebody that's trying to lose weight. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're not planning on going on any vacations or anything during the campaign. We talked about that earlier. No, okay. not at all. <laughs> no weddings or anything. No, he's not. No, I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm going to Vegas for a couple of days in April, but that's pretty much it. Okay. So, yeah. You can't go to Vegas. Okay, I guess I'm not going to Vegas <laughs> okay. anymore. Well, you can tweet from, from I will tweet the casino. Shit. Tweet from, from Vegas. Vegas. I will send a picture of me at Caesar's. Yeah, Caesar's Circus Circus. I think has good Wi-Fi. So yeah. <laughs> well, you have the LTE network. That's true. We do. Okay. All right. Cool. We have plans. <laughs> So what else have you noticed from crowdfunding campaigns that you like? What, what are the, some of the things that you've seen that have really worked and then some that haven't? The over budget is, I feel like, a big one. Mm -hmm. um, but not having a good pitch video to me, I feel like, is, is the ones I've seen, I'm like, I would never donate to that because the video wasn't good. Whether it was a production value or just the pitch wasn't good. I just mm -hmm. didn't feel like it was a compelling enough story or, you know, that kind of stuff. So I really want to make sure I'm good with that. Do you think people view that as, okay, if the pitch video is bad, then what's the actual production going to look like? Exactly. Is this a representation of their work? Hmm. Well, I mean, that's the way I take it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that just a pitch video is enough. I feel that people are buying not just a reward like a DVD or a t-shirt or a chance for a science script or something. They're, they're trying to become a part of a process that they normally wouldn't be. So invite them along on that journey. Like, you know, yeah. show them where you're coming from, where you want to go, like the good things, the bad things that happen. So yeah. keep them in the loop. And that's what I've seen on the successful ones. I've only followed one or two. I mean, I'm very loose. I hardly ever look. But I, I know one of them was um, kind of an easy sell. I forgot the guy's name, but he was one of these video game developers in the 90s who did a lot of point and click adventures like Day of the Tentacle and stuff like that. And he wanted to make a throwback point and click game for all the people who reminisce like me and all those other people and he said a ah, hundred thousand dollars is what I need to fully design and engineer and develop this, this program and he would make videos if not weekly then daily to talk about progress mm. and all the artwork and everything he made three or four hundred thousand dollars because people were so on board with you know that and part of it is again the subject matter of you know you're, you're playing on the nostalgia of the game you know culture from that era but he took you on a ride and showed you how did things work. And that, I think, is really the big thing. That's why it's you need a marketing team or someone full time because it takes a lot to consistently update and send messages and video and then edit and all that stuff. So yeah. That's what I think is really the big indicator or big thing to help. And for me, the video Succeed. journals is, is, is trying to do that. Mm -hmm. And do you think you'll do a shorter campaign, 30 days or longer? Um, I'm I'm right now I'm on thirty. Yeah. What what makes you like that date, that thirty day time? Uh, I don't know, it's a good number. Thirty. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's just a month and you try it out. If it I, I, the other thing too is I know that there's the, the chance of failure. You don't make it in thirty days, mm -hmm. you know. So then we need to to do another campaign or That's true, you have a fallback yeah. instead of putting it all in one sixty day campaign, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm uh <clears throat> I'm not doing this campaign to be like uh, I'm. I'm gonna, you know, please donate, and we might shoot in a year. It's like I'm doing this campaign. Please donate. We're shooting in May. You know, uh, we're ready to go. 
Well, you're not going to be able to sleep if it's not. Exactly. <laughs> like, true. I, <laughs> you, I mean, yeah, you, I, you like to do things yeah. right away, and that's great. I, I like to have things ready. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I didn't start. Uh, I didn't start trying to. I, I didn't try to cast lap season one without the script being in a good place. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like there, you need to have confidence in. in uh, you know, if someone's going to come onto your team. You got to have a basis. You know, you got to have that. That thing is that's gonna motivate people to be like, no, I want to work on that, and if and that requires me to have my stuff in line, have it in check and ready, you know.